Hello everyone, uh, today we are going to be installing Corsair Link on what I'm on, it's Ubuntu 15.04, uh, but as far as I know this will work on any Linux distribution, don't quote me on that. So what I'm doing right now is I'm installing, well not installing, but I'm creating a document that I will later change to Corsair Link.sh outside of this video but towards the end it will actually show dot sh uh, so what I, you do is you just create a blank document and it's going to be a bash document and you, I run it from the terminal because I have some problems for some unknown reason and I'll show you how to fix those problems later in the video but most of this stuff is terminal based and I actually screw up and use two terminal. Don't do that. Another thing when you create your Corsair link dot sh file or you can name it whatever you want. I just named it Corsair link and just in general your bash file. What you want to do is you want to use chmod I it will tell you how to in the link to the website it will actually tell you one of the first things you need to do is run sudo chmod and change it to a plus x which will basically change the properties of the file to an application and an executable you can do this other way this is just the easiest way so what I'm doing in the bottom left terminal is I am I just had got done installing the auto tools dash dev auto config auto make lib tool get that stuff and it'll take a little bit doesn't take long as you can see uh, and then you want to get the git clone from the website and what this is is I believe it's all the dependencies and stuff. I'm not sure. It might actually be the program. I don't. I don't think it's the program. I think this is just the dependencies part. All right. So you want to run dot slash bootstrap and then dot slash configure, and you will run into a problem. You may not run into a problem. I ran into the problem where I need libudev, and I started to go online and get the package that I had gotten before. And I decided not to because it's there's a package that you can download and it will install libudev dash dev uh, libusb and I think one or two other things and it's just a known one so what I actually done is I went back and went to the software center and got libdev and libudev dash dev is the one you need and you can get it and then you also need libusb dash dev and when you type in libusb I think it's libusb1 uh, the first thing in the software center is a dash doc and you do not need that one you need the dash dev one and it will take a couple a little bit before we get there but I basically run dot slash configure again and it doesn't work and it says libusb is not found or it's not yeah it was not found on this system so you basically install it the same way alright so if you you know what you're doing the website will describe it all you don't even need this video so you can just go ahead and stop watching it if you don't know what you're doing this is basically a fail proof way because I do make the mistakes and I show you how to fix some of them see right there's the doc file or the doc install and right there's the dash dev and that's the one you need
Alright, now that that's installed, you should run dot slash configure again, and it should install this time. Well, it doesn't really install, it's just, but it does. It's a different way to install instead of just typing install. If you, most of you are probably just like, why are you talking about the stuff we know this stuff? But I'm, I'm kind of new to this, new to Linux, so I kind of want to describe this for everyone that doesn't know what they're doing. So make and sudo make install, which is kind of finishes compiling it and installs it. So yeah, dot slash configure, it just configures it and makes it ready to install. So right here is where I messed up. I decided to use the other terminal and it installed CD open Corsair link in my home directory and I deleted that off camera so unfortunately you can't see that but I went through and I basically reinstalled everything. So what I urge you to do is just use one terminal and I was trying to use two to make it simpler to see but use one terminal and you won't have any mistakes because it installs it into the hit API instead of your home directory because hit API is in your home directory even though you can't see it so what you want to do is you want to go to Corsair link lib website place and it gives you a link to that you want to just save the file and as you can see it popped up and it's Corsair Link Lib Master. Uh, I just extracted it to my downloads because I'll eventually organize it all. And from this, what I done was I started to move the whole thing, and then I was like, "Wait a minute, that's not right. I done this before. I messed up." So what you actually need to do is move the files inside of the Corsair Link Lib Master. Uh, the easiest way I can find to find the location because you can't actually find hit app see right there you can see open Corsair link is there when it should not be but you need to go to computer type in open Corsair link and go into that and then Corsair link lib and you copy or move all the files over into it so that when you run the files in the terminal it runs it there so after this you run open Corsair link pro qmate open Corsair link dot pro and it runs it from the folder Corsair link lib so you just do that and then make and then sudo id config uh, when I try to run sudo id config or it might be LD config, I'm not sure on that. I think it's LD. Just copy and paste because I think I typed it and it didn't work right. Uh, I think I skipped something there too, I'm not sure. I don't remember if I typed. No, I type make. Or I think I do. No, I don't think I typed make. Or I may have done make. Anyway, regardless. I can't type to save my life. So, I should have known that was wrong. I screw up putting in my password again for like the third time in this video. Don't count. Because I, I think it was two, but I may have screwed up three times. So I, apparently, I don't even know my own passwords. And I accidentally pasted that for my password. I don't know why or how, but I did. I, was, I guess I was brain dead when I was making or recording this. So there's me messing up on my password, and I was like, oh, that's what it is. And it's like, this is not found, so I went up and I copied it, pasted it, ran it, it worked. Uh, Corsair Link GUI was. It is a work in progress or a whip, and it doesn't work all too well, and I don't think you actually get the GUI from this, but you can run help and it'll show you all this stuff. 
And you can look through that. It, you can probably get a little more use out of it than me. Uh, but that's just showing you that it is installed. Or that part is installed correctly. So right here I'm showing you that I deleted my Open Corsair link. And went back and reinstalled it. And it's not in my home folder anymore. It's in the hit API. Which is not there. Uh, I searched for it just to prove. And open Corsair link right there to the right of my mouse. Which I apparently didn't find, but I hit properties, and as you can see, it says slash home slash msgt martin slash hit API. And that's where it needs to be. So when you search it, click on properties just to make sure it's in that folder. Alright, so after this, uh, if you're having problems running your bash command, because I run it from the terminal, uh, it's pretty simple. You just copy the file location or just copy the file itself. And I was having problems because mine was on view executable text files. And the way you get to this is you just go to edit and preferences on your files and go to behavior. And mine was set on view executable text files when they are open. You need to change it to run or ask. You would probably be better to ask. Right, so right there, it popped up and said my version, which was H100i version 1007, I believe. It'll show in in a second. But I exited it. So you actually exit by hitting enter, not typing exit. And then I cleared it, and then I tried to make a full screen, and then I had to clear it again. So the rest of this is just showing you it works. Uh, right there is where I have my Corsair link.sh. Uh, H100i firmware version 1007. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Right. Two will show your stuff. Uh, I think there's a way to change your LEDs. I'm not sure on this. Don't quote me on it. But I don't think it's in the bash. I'm not sure. But you can change your modes. I'm not sure if they will work because I have problems with my Corsair Link working on Windows. And using a kind of work in progress version of it on Linux. I don't. It's not going to work for me any either so when I change it which is the rest of it just showing that my temperature is going up and my fan speed are feeding, speeding up so the rest of it is just to show you it works so you made it this far thank you for watching again it this is just a foolproof way kind of I probably didn't cover as all the errors that some people will get but if you get another error, let me know and I'll try to find out what happened and how to fix it. And I'll try and get back to you. So thank you guys for watching.